Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride. This is Dave Johnson channeling the man in the moon. Today I'm going to talk a bit about Trump and more about uh, people who support Trump. You might have seen some pretty disturbing uh, statistics that uh, Trump and Biden are neck and neck in the race. And I just want to see maybe why that is and how that's going to change, if it's going to change. I have to admit that I was really considering giving up the political channel and moving on to more, you know, spiritual things like on Pyramid 4, as if those are more spiritual things. And I've kind of changed my mind. I think that um, now really is a time where people like you and me really need support. And that's the purpose of this channel is to let everybody know that Things are working out in a way that is helpful to our learning, and it's not the end of the world. So I really have somewhat changed my mind with the help of viewers and um, people like Lena, uh, who have sort of convinced me that uh, this should stay the same. Understand that whenever you're doing this work, whenever you're dealing political stuff, it kind of makes you a bit... It does make you talk to some lower energies and deal with some lower energies. It's not ideal for the, you know, really big channeling, maybe, but we can do both. There's nothing wrong with both. So let's um, take a look at maybe Trump and, and, and how he's doing with all these accusations and then take a look at his supporters and maybe understand why they support him. That might be helpful. Starting with Trump. What is he experiencing? Um, you know, there's these sort of lines going in all these directions, and then they just change and they drift. So this tells me that he's really um, not just being affected, but his mood swings are enormous. And his uh, sort of understanding sort of just changes very, very quickly. It has the feeling of a desperate person. Uh, he's very upset. You know, they've almost run out of money. He's had to borrow, well, he's had to transfer money from his political campaign to his legal situation, you know, to pay his lawyers. How this is ethical or possible in America, I don't know, but it is. I guess we can thank the Supreme Court for that. But this is, in some ways, um, harming him. It doesn't have the money to run. And I keep getting the number four million. That's like seems what he's got left. And uh, taking the money away from that campaign is very worrying to him, and a bit upsetting to the supporters who, you know, that's not what they paid for. And I just keep getting this sort of explosive rage. It seems important to say. This is not doing him good. You know, people identify with the explosive rage and that's why they support him. But, you know, if you're around that all the time and, you know, even if you're sort of an assistant or somebody who works on a campaign, it does start to bother you that this man is so insulting and so degrading of your efforts. It does make these people around him think twice about supporting him. And it's kind of like they do, but it's just self-serving. They're supporting him, but that's just so that they can have a job where they say they worked for Trump. They're not as gung-ho as they would have been before they met him. And Trump does not care. He's always been able to get away with it, so why wouldn't he why would he change? It's really interesting. This just line just zigzags all over the place. It's like I'm all over the universe, you know. I don't know. I just don't know what he's all about. I don't think he knows what he's doing or what he's feeling or what's happening. He's having just a lot of personal problems. And he's taking a lot of that um, kind of legal speed medication, you know, it's like, you know, diet pills or something for a cold. But really, it's the drug. I think it's Adderall that he takes. It's really a drug that he kind of needs. So, is there anything else? Just I keep getting a Melania that's really upset and really disgusted and really over it and just ready to move on. She's rolling her eyes about the prenup that she uh, signed 
because um, she just doesn't, it's not the, not the way that she wanted to roll. So, what about the people? Let's take a look at these people. Something about, you know, it's like when people are in denial of the truth and you push the truth in their face, they react even more strongly. They just, they're really gung-ho now about the falsehood. It's like, um, you know, after the Second Persian Gulf War, I would meet people who, despite all logic and information, insisted that there really were weapons of mass destruction. And... Um, they just would double down, you know, they still voted for Bush even after he lied to them. They just, they can't admit that they were wrong. There's, it's almost like they, they've gone to a place and they cannot leave. And we often in this work as sort of people who work on in a spiritual way, um, will realize, you know, where we are stuck. You know, we, we realize we're stuck and we make a lot of efforts to, you know, through positive thinking or whatever, to get out of the sort of hole that we are in. We relook at our lives. We change things. We start to um, you know, move in a positive way, if only in our minds and hearts. I totally recommend this, by the way. But there are some people who refuse to do this. They stick with what they know because it feels safe. I say this as much as possible without any kind of judgment, because we all do that. And as I say this, I hope we can have sympathy for such people. We don't know what they have been through or what their fears are. So it's best to avoid judgment of the people themselves. We might judge their actions, but if we really look in our heart of hearts, these are just people who are frightened by changes they are trying to make sense of them. They're trying to um, create a community where there isn't one anymore. It's uh, worthy of sympathy. At the same time, let us you know, recognize what's going on here. And what's going on here is just, these are people who are not sure where they are going in the society. They're not sure how to step out of the darkness. And that's a lesson for all of us that perhaps we have some shades of darkness too that we might want to step out of you know, notice you know what you fear don't judge yourself for that sometimes people who are doing the wrong thing are examples for all of us about how we are wrong so that is worthwhile to consider so what else can we know about this trump situation Okay, we're getting back to the airplane again. Always seeing the airplane in Trump. And I'm, I still don't know, is this real? Or is this a, a symbol of him escaping? Or is it just uh, his desire to escape? But here we are. This time the plane is almost like a World War II plane. Oh, and it's whirling around. Not sure if you have, I'm thinking like Raiders of the Lost Ark 2 had some thing where the plane is like they keep having a fight around the plane and they duck around the plane and stuff and it's like that with trump like the plane is spinning around it's not um stable and he's just barely missing the blades and all the people around are like oh wow oh wow what are we doing it kind of like the first image of the light moving around he's dancing around this airplane again i see people from the middle east did Trump sell this stuff? I think I said that he did, but maybe we can confer again. Did Trump sell stuff to the Saudis? Yep, he did. And there's this chunk of money. This like, like here's a, a guy dressed as a Saudi with a chunk of money. I hope everybody understands I don't have any problem with the people of Saudi Arabia. I'm sure there are just as many nice people there. It's just the... These corrupt people who have taken power. It's just here's the paper he's holding, and here's a big pile of gold. And they smiling from ear to ear, right? This is what wealth brings. That's what the particular person is saying. 
So Spirit, can we know more about this situation? Oh, Jack Smith is getting closer to discovering it if he has not discovered it already. He's getting closer and closer. There's some slam dunk, I'm sure y'all have seen recently, just slam dunk information, just slam dunks on, on this, like slam dunk on obstruction, slam dunk on recording, slam dunk on, on just all of this information. I really need to tell you, Jack Smith is the man for the job, right? Just as the um, <clears throat> lady down south is the woman for the job, Jack Smith is the man for the job. And I meant uh, Fonnie Willis, because she's also there going, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. I want to be fair here. You're both doing a great job. I don't care about your gender. But Jack Smith is just showing up with like a, a laser, just like a laser tight mind. He is not distracted. He's not playing to the crowd. He is focusing like a, a sort of um, just like a genius on this stuff. Doesn't get confused by personal political attacks. He doesn't get confused. He is there to do one job. Jack Smith is showing me something really and really very specific. It's like a line that goes like this, mm -hmm. like triangle, triangle, triangle. Oh, I think this means he is just making all the connections. He's building one pyramid after another. Wow. And these pyramids create uh, like one of those hats. Do you remember um, like the jug head kind of hat with the points? <laughs> they create a hat which Trump wears, and he tries to wear it like a crown. But guess what? That's a failure. It looked, it would have been a crown, but instead it's the, the crown of the fool. And there's a tarot card, you know, of the fool where he's sort of stepping into air. Well, that was Trump. He is just like, let the universe decide anything will happen. I'm going to take this risk and then falls right off the end of it. But Trump would be nobody without these supporters, these people who live in denial. There's no substance there. He's just a, a sort of a loud mouth that represents people who are sort of living in a state of a fear of change. So what do we know? What's the What's going to happen? Are these statistics uh, going to change? I keep seeing Biden smiling. It's a little bit of a, well, there's elements of a sad smile in it, but there's also elements of a true, like, hey, we did it kind of smile. Don't get that from Trump at all. I just get a feeling of Trump sort of receding, almost fading in, in the minds of people or becoming like a historical marker as opposed to a leader. He is the marker of, you know, sort of where we went wrong. What will help Biden? The war in, uh, um, the war in Ukraine has helped him uh, in the sense of he is, he looks like a leader. He looks like a person who's guiding us towards a sort of a victory of independence but also you know we're not involved in the war directly we are indirectly involved what else is helping biden you know he really is surrounded by experts Biden isn't making all of the decisions alone. He is consulting with others who are politically savvy. He is politically savvy. Uh, there is some good news on the horizon about the economy. If the war uh, shifts, the war in uh, Ukraine shifts around December, then uh, he, and it seems like it will, 
he will um, really reap a lot of benefits. First of all, he will be perceived as a winner. Second of all, it will really benefit the economy. He's showing me money. And uh, that will really kick him into gear. There are people with legitimate fears about his age, but uh, that is something that is probably the greatest hurdle that he has to overcome. But you know, it's not, you know, the wind is in his sails. He's doing great. He really is doing terrific. The only real issue is inflation. And that is getting better. The other issue for uh, Biden has been unifying a pretty complex system, which is, you know, Democrats are complicated. They've got lots and lots of people. And I just see like Joe Manchin and then your far lefty and him just creating a sort of umbrella for all of those people. Another thing that's going to help Biden is frankly, YouTube, you know, the future People are getting their information from different sources. So it's not all about, you know, Twitter and a few other, you know, networks deciding everybody's brain. The openness of the YouTube, for example, is, is really going to benefit him because the next generation, that's where they're getting their news and information. That's where they find uh, their truth. It is really a sort of a dying breed of people that sit around and watch Fox News uh, all day. So I really do see Biden um, smiling. And I'm not just saying that. I really do think this is what Spirit's showing me. I think that he will succeed. And um, I have somewhat always thought that um, and felt that. So um, take heart and also take heart in that this is a process that we're going through. We're going to learn, and that's the most important thing. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in private readings, just take a look at my website below and you can see what I offer. Have a great day now.